So now in this part, I'll be explaining you how the full side editing works and how you can navigate uh, different features or different functions inside the full side editing uh, WordPress theme. So if I hover over the appearance and click on editor, it will take you to the editor page. And uh, if I click uh, anywhere here, so basically uh, I will start from the top left corner, which is called toggle navigation. So if you click on WordPress icon, basically it's the editor and uh, you have to do everything from here. And I will show you with a real life project. So you don't have to worry about if I uh, skip anything from uh, here or if I uh, made any mistake uh, to show you uh, the features from here, but you will be able to learn everything in the real life project. But you should understand exactly uh, how things work here well now if i click on this wordpress icon here you can see the dashboard if you want to navigate to the dashboard you have to click over here it will take you to the dashboard and inside the editor under the editor here you can see three options the first one is site second one is templates and the third one is template parts when you click the site it's basically display the uh, header footer and the inner options inside the page editor and when you click on templates here you can see the templates that are by default comes with a theme you can create or add new templates here so it's very straightforward and i will show you how to do that also and here if you take a look at closely and if you are familiar with the wordpress uh, elementor theme builder then i hope uh, you understand how things work here there is a single post page index page and home page and every single template that you are uh, now viewing here and you can edit them you can change them and also you can add new template here if I click on new template so you can add a front page displays the site's home page and you can add a new template easily here but I will not I'm not going to add new template at this moment I will just try to explain everything here and we'll show later now if I click template parts you can see there are currently available template which is header footer and header again and the header dark and large that means there is three header at this moment you can create another header also if i click on add new here you can see you can create a general template and you can create header and footer and we'll be creating later on and this is basically the template parts you can create a custom header for different page you can create a custom footer for different page you don't have to use any third-party plugins or anything else inside your uh, new wordpress uh, full site editing features now if i click on here again or if i just click on dashboard it will take us to the dashboard but if you click on site it open us the editor and here you can see the toggle it comes with all the block that you can use here and um, this is the list view of the block the current view inside the page and if i click over here there is the page currently i'm selecting the page if you want to uh, edit the header you can simply select header and it selected the header area and here you can see it's called header and again if i click over here and click footer it will take us to the footer area and the space selected footer so now if i change anything else then here inside the footer when i selected the footer it will only applicable or it will only change uh, inside the footer area it's not going to change the content area here and if i select here the page or if i click over here inside the page anywhere except the footer and header you can see it's by default selected the page content now i'm going to close this one and here you can see the gear icon which is called setting basically it's display the uh, the settings that i've selected the specific block item now when i select the block item from here let's select header and inside the block here you can see it just change everything here and i will explain every single options and i'll be using every single options here later on and the next one is style when I click on the style, uh, you're already familiar with the um, global color and typography. And the style 
works like a global color and typography i'm going to close this one at this moment and here you can see the typography colors and layout so when i select typography you can change the text typography here and also you can change the link typography from here so i'll be changing them following our uh, figma file uh, later on and i will explain or show you the how typography works here now if i go back to the style options here you can see the colors you can choose global color palette you can add your own color palette here i will use them later and for the layout here you can see the layout which is the default layout you can uh, currently there is a default margin and padding it's not necessary here at this moment i will explain you later on so here you can see the blocks uh, you can change the blocks from here and it will apply globally it's it's so beautiful i, I just uh, really like this one because there are lots of things that you do not have to do it again and again and again this will allow you to uh, just use the same block every single page every single section inside the same website and it will keep the same style so uh, i'll be using a couple of them from here uh, when i start making our new project or the projects so that's all from uh, the global features and uh, the editor there is nothing serious here so uh, when i start making the project uh, you'll be able to learn a lot of things there thank you so much for watching this